to Knoxville, home of the Tennessee Volunteers, where the hymn of choice is good old Rocky Top, and they hope that by the end of this one, it's good on Rocky Top. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Kentucky Wildcats, taking on the 15th ranked team in the land, the Tennessee Volunteers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Kentucky ready to go toe meets leather and start this game. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Tennessee's offense takes the field to start this game off. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it, but it's just football. The Volunteers want to move quickly. They'll run it from the gun. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. From the gun, the ground game. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. Seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. When you talk about the next game on the schedule, they're always looking forward to this one. Picks up the first down, still moving. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Well, you can see why Rocky Top is so excited about this guy. He's a home run waiting to happen. Not only can he run you over, but he can run around you, too. This is an offense that doesn't only have to throw the football to win games. They can run it, and they can get explosive plays because of this guy's speed and skill set. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. After the run, 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 now to throw. Soft spot in the middle. He gets it to the 31-yard line, a big play for this offense. Another big play on the outside, and that's the thing that historically has gotten Rocky Top rolling. Yeah, so much fun to watch playmakers outside that they can run by you and go make big plays. Opens up the whole field, the whole offense, and this Orange fan base goes absolutely bananas. They'll run it from the gun. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players would be jacked out of their minds. Worked it down to the 22-yard line. Give him five on the carry. 
And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. Muscling ahead on third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you got to do a better job up front right there. That run was doomed from the get-go. Nowhere to go. The back gets hit. As soon as he gets the football, hard to succeed as a running back when you get the ball and you get clobbered. This offense wants to get out of the gate fast on their first drive of the game, plus territory. They'll go for it on fourth down. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. You've got to be loving what you're seeing from your offense here on the opening drive of this game. They're in a really nice rhythm. They've got real good balance going on right now, and they've got the defense on their heels. And the Vols want to crank the tempo. Right back to the well. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. From the shotgun, the inside give. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. They're going to run just about their entire opening script on the first drive of the game. 12th play coming up on third down. Back to pass. It's Iamaleva. Unleashes to the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. The holder will kneel at the 24, a 34-yarder coming from the right hash. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Coming out with it, it's Brown. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. So the Kentucky Wildcats offense has its first opportunity of the day. And the spotlight in this game will undoubtedly be on these star wide receivers, David. I mean, they're featured, Reese. Like, these guys are going to touch the football a lot. These offenses are built to get them the football to make plays. We're in for a few catches today, Paul. We sure are. When you can get open like these guys can, when you have the speed to take the top off of the defense, you know you're going to see a lot of explosive plays today. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. The give to the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Gives it to the back on the draw. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Nice run. Great job by the running back. Making a cut, getting more south, getting some positive yards. Now setting up a fourth and short decision for you. What do you got on deck? What are you going to call? Kentucky will be forced to punt. They'll look to pin him deep. 
No return coming here. Fair catch is signaled for and made just shy of the 30. The volunteer offense is back and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. He stopped after getting a yard out to the 30. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. And the Volunteers in the hurry up. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. And this one will be stopped for no gain. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Out of the gun to give to the back. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Wants to throw. It's Iamaleva. Moves around to clear up the vision. Trying to escape and get it himself. They make the stop, and that'll bring the first quarter to a close. That's the end of the quarter, and Tennessee has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. The Vols are on the move. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking but couldn't reel it in. Well, the offense is in that fringe area. This is a place where a lot of coordinators like to take shots. They tried one there, just weren't able to come up with it. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Using his legs, it's Samson. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. Trying to pick up a first down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up for the first down. And they just kind of sneak that one in there. As a defensive guy, third and five plus, I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off, and he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. From the gun, the running back has it. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. The Volunteers come to the line in the hurry up. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And into the end zone. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. It's so nice as an offense to know you can generate explosive plays by handing the football off to this guy. He has got incredible speed. And the Vols will try to punch it in on first and goal. 
They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, what a great job by the defense. you got to understand, it's physical time, right? They want to run the football when they start getting inside the five. Nice job getting penetration, getting the tackle for the loss. Can the D deny them on second and goal? They'll run it to the left here, looking for the goal line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, ball! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The returner will field it and bring it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close to and I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. On the run, it's Trainum. They'll knock him down after a six-yard gain to the 27. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. You've got to keep defenses off balance. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. They'll mark him down right there, but it'll be enough for a Kentucky first down. And a lot of coaches put a lot of emphasis on situational type running, right? When it's a goal to go to situation, short guarded situation, like when I need to run the football and they know I'm running the football right there. I haven't had a lot of success, but I needed a few yards to get the first down. Great job by the offensive line, creating some space and getting the first down. Shows him the stiff arm. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Here comes the offense on second down. They move the tight end all over. Single back formation, and they give it to him. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. The Wildcats have this offense rolling. Hand off from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Offense trying to go with some misdirection in the run game to the boundary, but the defense was there. They're able to corral the back behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He'll pull it on the read. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Well, a good decision there by the QB. A little zone read action. He reads the defensive end crashing down, keeps it himself, gets a nice chunk of yards. And when you do that, you just sort of get the drive going or keep it going, as the case may be. It's amazing in college football now how big of a part of each offense the zone read has become. We're seeing more and more athletic quarterbacks on rosters now. That is a staple of the sport.
Kentucky sends out the punting unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded. The run is coming. You know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano -y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. They'll go right back to it. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. And the Volunteers moving quickly to the line. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. The Vols will bring the punt team onto the field. Running it back, it's Brown. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll run the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Scanning the field, it's Vandergriff. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. With the catch, it's Trainer. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Whoop de do. You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and sell it. Kentucky will be forced to punt. He'll bring it back. It's White. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. The Volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. They're going to throw it to start the drive. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary. And you saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick, and because of the hit, incomplete pass. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. He's looking to throw. A strike downfield. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. And you just could not allow that to happen defensively, giving up a big play like that. They're going to need to now play with some sense of urgency if they're not going to give up any points here before the end of the half. Now it's a first down from the 43-yard line. Dropping back, it's Imaleva. The quick out. I don't think he was the primary receiver on that play, David, but a very productive pickup on first down. And these tight ends are so good at understanding zones and where to sit down. And, and listen, it's not the huge game down the field, but it's always death by a thousand cuts, small gains, great tackles, and continue to move the sticks. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. 
Oftentimes, defenses see empty sets, and that's when they want to dial up pressure, knowing there's no extra bodies back there to protect the quarterback. They were able to get to him on that one, and that's why the ball was incomplete. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Got his man to the left. Touchdown, Volunteers! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. That is what we call in the industry a defensive breakdown. That guy was loose for the big play. Uh, busted coverage, uh, really, really bad execution. Somebody slips, somebody falls. Nothing about that defensively is something you're looking for, but the offense will take it and, and get the easy touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the final 34 yards covered by that touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense, takes the field. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Trying to convert this second and short. Back to throw, it's Vandergriff. Quick strike complete. How about that elusiveness? He's got space. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. It's so hard to tackle these fast guys in the open field. And you see when you duck your head and you're going to try to hit somebody, you can't see him anymore. Ducks his head a little bit. Next thing you know, broken tackle, guys getting next two yards. He's got his man across the middle. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time. Make those precise throws, right in those holes. Get those first downs. Get those big chunks. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Tips, deflections, those are such good things for defense. A lot of times they lead to interceptions and big plays. Just try to get any kind of disruption you can. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. On second down, he'll fire. This time it's complete. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Kentucky now operating in the red zone. They'll try to get the first through the air. Getting some heat. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Got to give the defense credit on that play. Taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? So they are denied a touchdown on this drive, but they'll try to put up a three spot before the break. Splits the uprights right down the middle. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. 
looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. The Volunteers will kick it away to crank up the second half. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David. When they... Makes the grab down the left side. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And that has got to be a coverage bust on defense. There is no way the receiver should have been allowed to be that open deep down the field. Somebody on defense blew their assignment. You want to talk about flipping the script. They just did that with a huge play, and now they've got it first and 10 in plus territory. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. You're down. Obviously, at the half, you had a conversation. we got to come out and put points on the board. And, Jesse, it looks like they're going to start with the ground game. And I love this, David, too. Regardless of whether they're losing or they're winning, come out here and try to be the most physical unit here in the second half. Get this run game established. Might as well give it to him again. Great move there. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. Well, right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me... Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. And what a nice play call and nice execution. Play action. You're thinking run. Quarterback pulls it out throws the football right behind those guys and gets the touchdown. Yeah, it was a nice job there by the quarterback, too, on, on the ball handling. He just froze the defense just long enough to help those wide receivers and targets get some separation in the end zone. And at that point, it was just an easy pitch and catch. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they close it to 17-10. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. They'll run it from the gun. Gets it past the marker. And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right, and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. 
And it seems like every time they throw it, it's first down time in Tennessee. First down time, and then let's go again. Let, let, let's throw it again. These offenses are not afraid to throw the football. When you've got a trigger man you trust, let it rip. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. I know it wasn't an interception, but a lot of times tips and deflections leads to interceptions. Great job by the defender getting his mitt on the football. After the misfire, now on second down. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. And the Vols want to pick up the tempo. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Got it in the middle with Sampson. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. This is the kind of performance, guys, that sort of etches your name in the roar of a rivalry. And playing big in this big moment, on this big stage, it is so nice to have a playmaker like that that you can highlight, that you can focus on, that you can trust in. He was so excited coming into this game, too, because he knows that oftentimes your legacy as a player is defined by how you play in rivalry games like this. Play action does so many things. When you run the football, run the football and have success, it slows everybody down. Not just the linebackers and the safeties and make them come up, but the defensive line, they're thinking run as well, slows down the pass rush, gives me a little bit more time to develop routes and make it really easy on my quarterback. The option look. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. And lost ground on first down. Now second and goal from the five. Trying play action. Looking for the score. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Oh, what a missed opportunity for that interception. And yes, I know he gets the pass breakup, but he had a chance to finish things off, and he really didn't get it done. But there's a reason he plays defense. You know, they put the guys on offense that can actually catch Cutting it close now with third and goal upcoming. Back to pass. It's Imaleva. Let's it go to the end zone. And the ball is intercepted. A veteran in this defense stayed locked in on his rules and made the interception. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live in dime. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very small. Kentucky has it back in the big blue offense, takes the field. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Hand off to the single back. Just gets it to the 20, a pickup of one. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Makes the grab outside. It's Trainer. That's why, as a defense, you feel okay playing man coverage on third down because you know you've got linebackers and you've got players on your defense that can cover these dangerous running backs mano a mano. Nice job tackling in the open field. Kentucky sends out the punting unit.
Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. On the run, it's Sampson. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. The run from the shotgun. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. Man, is he having a day for the Big Orange, already over 150 yards. And showing you a little bit of everything, Reese. I mean, he can break tackles. He can make you miss. He's doing it all for this offense, and I would continue to feed him, and I guarantee you the Orange fans are going nuts. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Makes the grab. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. And the Volunteers will hustle to the line. They'll run it out of the shotgun. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Vols getting set on first and ten. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Grabbed in the middle. It's white. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. To the air. It's Imaleva. And he's on his way. He'll go all the way. Touchdown, Tennessee! Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm, got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive, so they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Gets it out fast. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. From the gun, running back gets to give. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. No 
question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Offense gets set for second down. Looking to throw, it's Vandergrift. He makes the connection. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. The Wildcats are moving quickly down the field. Going to run it. It's Trina. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. And they got to get more creative or whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. That is a big man in the middle of this 3-4 defense. Over 300 pounds. Look at him just completely cave in the center right back into the QB. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And that defender was just smothering the quarterback on that screen attempt. You know, the QB's taught to hold on to it to the last possible second. He had no shot trying to negotiate that defense. Kentucky will be forced to punt. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today signals for the fair catch and that's where they'll put it in play just outside the 20. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. To the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally though David you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments and find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. Grabbed over the middle. It's Thornton. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bugs, man. You, you can play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. The Volunteers are in the hurry up. Looking for a man. It's Iamaleva. Right down the middle. It's caught downfield. Got a lot of running room. Inside the 10. Touchdown ball. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Paul. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time in this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. That's caught. It's Trainer. 
They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. On second down, looking to throw. That pass is incomplete. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. After the incompletion on second down, it's third and inches. Caught near the sticks. It's Trainum. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out on the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. Here comes Kentucky after picking up that first down. Fires left. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And as a defense, a lot of times you're coming into the game and you're just trying to limit the damage when you play a really great quarterback. And they've done more than that today. They have dominated this football game. The offense has carried their weight, and this is looking like a great outcome. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. Dropping back, it's Vandergriff. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You gotta throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Third down coming up after that completion. They'll try to get it through the air. Fires to the wideout. And you just don't expect your junior quarterback to get fooled and to throw it into double coverage like that. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays throwing the ball. And you got to wonder at this point, is it too little too late? Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Not even a moment of anxiety in that decision. Fourth and one? Yep, we're going. Bro, this isn't even a discussion in the headset. Like, this is automatic, autopilot. Like, fourth and one, we're going for it every single time. Just on the edge of the red zone. First and ten from the 21. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. The offense came into this game knowing that for them to win, they were going to have to make some big plays throwing the football. That just has not been the case. Here in the fourth quarter, they've been held to less than 200 passing yards. And that's really the story of the game, guys. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense did a really good job stringing that one out. But you got to see the counter when you start to pull guys understanding. I'm going to spill that ball, make sure it bounces outside, out wide, doesn't come downhill. Great job by the defense understanding that and pursuing to the football. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Got it in the middle. It's key. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped. A terrific run after the catch. I love that from this offense. Three is good. You're in field goal range. But now we're set up with first and goal because of great third down execution by this offense. Stay aggressive. Even when you get in this part of the field when everything shrinks and gets a little bit harder, you still want to be aggressive. 
Looking downfield, it's Vandergrift. But a little time, lets it go. Touchdown, Wildcats! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they're now down 31-17. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. They still have work to do, trailing by two possessions here in the fourth. They'll line up for the onside kick. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points. To Hit the afterburners, kid. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. And this is a perfect situation. This is a situation, if you asked me to be in before the game, the coaches would have been in heaven. I got the football. I got the lead on their side of the field. Nice gain on first down. Same exact script. Do it again. Run the football. Run the clock. Let that thing tick down. And if we add points, we add points. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Hand off from the shotgun. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Looking for a gap. It's Sampson. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. that lead out and the kickoff team's getting some work he'll start the return inside his five nice job by the kickoff team everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field he wants to start this drive with a pass And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in the game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. This offense has a second down play. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Got him downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. 
And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. Wants to throw on first down. And they got him for the sack. It's pretty obvious. This defense came into this one knowing they were going to have to play a complete game until there were zeros on the clock, especially against this quarterback. You cannot take your foot off the gas. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Late in the fourth quarter, they're still bringing it, and they get another sack. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. This is a third and long. To the air, it's Vandergriff. Dumps it to the back. Another incompletion on third down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Well, look at this, fourth down and a mile and a half, and the offense is still on the field. And it's incomplete, and this defense makes a fourth down stop. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. He will take a knee, and the defense can stop the clock one more time, but this one is just about in the books.